Want to write a book but don't know how to get started? I'm going to show you an incredibly simple technique that'll get you writing your book today. Hello, I'm Frank Felker. Welcome to the Digital Media Positioning YouTube channel. If you're new here and you're interested in mastering your personal brand by becoming a best-selling author, a sought-after speaker, and online educator, start right now by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss a thing. All of us want to write a book, but there's something terrifying about staring at a blank page, especially if this is your first book. I'm going to share with you a simple but powerful technique I learned 15 years ago as I was trying to figure out how to start writing my first book, The Greatest Job You Never Thought Of. Back in 2004, I bought a book from a guy who wrote a book about how to write a book. I'm talking about Dan Pointer and his 2000 book, Writing Nonfiction, which I recommend to every aspiring writer. Dan convinced me that the best way to begin writing a nonfiction book was to start by writing the most important page in every how-to nonfiction book, the back cover. That's right, the back cover. Think about it, the back cover synopsizes the entire contents in less than 200 words. The back cover expresses what we call the big promise of the book. It's the transformational experience that the author says will accrue to us if we invest the time and money in buying and reading this book. The back cover generally contains three to five components, a headline, a short text synopsis, several bullet points, an about the author section, and perhaps a short testimonial from a reader. For a nonfiction book, the headline basically says, in this book, you will learn followed by two to three sentences of text, which serve as a short narrative synopsis. After that comes the bullet points, which will delineate specific insights the reader will receive. The About the Author section should give us a quick look into why we might think that this person knows what they're talking about. And any testimonial that you have on the book absolutely must speak to the quality and value of the book, not the author or any experience that the testimonial writer has had working with the author. The testimonial needs to be about the book, not about the author. All of the samples that I'm showing you are books that I have published for myself or for clients. Feel free to pause the video if you want to really just dig into and read exactly what's on the back covers. This same approach will work for works of fiction, but the difference is the back cover describes the genre of the fiction and the journey your imagination is going to take. All right, now you've got the system. Start writing your back cover. And by doing that, you're going to start writing your book. Who is your reader? What is it that they will receive from reading your book? Write the punchy headline. Write the intriguing synopsis. Write those meaty bullet points. Write the about the author section. Come up with a fake testimonial from somebody who will have read this book and is feeling great about it. Then sleep on it. Get up in the morning. Take a read. Give it a rewrite. And think about what we're going to do when we start creating the table of contents in the next video. If you found this video helpful, please smash the like button and feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comments area below. Again, I'm Frank Felker. Thank you for watching the Digital Media Positioning YouTube channel. If you're interested in learning more about how to master your personal brand in the digital age by becoming a best-selling author, a sought-after speaker, and an online educator, be sure to click the subscribe button right now and don't forget the notification bell so you won't miss a thing.